Welcome to Redwood Prison Rework. The game has received another update, which I'll be covering in this video. This will be a pretty quick video because I already streamed this. Uh, I'll link the stream in the description if you did not uh, watch it. But today we're going to quickly showcase all of the new changes and updates in this video. So let's get straight into it. So first off, you may notice that there is actually uh, a, next, a, little, a little change to the back here of the prison. Uh, in the previous couple of updates, or a couple of updates ago, they had this entrance. So it isn't just that yard over there, there's also another yard entrance here. And they added new treadmills. They're a little bit more uh, different, but as you can see, there's actually posters here. We've got window. You can even earn experience here, as said by by here. Earn experience by exercise. So all you need to do is go up to this holy, and then you're off. You earn two experience every second or half a second and it doesn't last forever it has a battery life as well so you can't just stay on this forever there, there's a certain time where uh, it will just eventually just stop I think you can just swap yeah you can also swap uh, if you ran out but it's not the best way to earn experience I mean I did take advantage of it but they nerfed it they used to earn 10 XP every well, 5 XP, I mean, every, uh, every half a second, but they nerfed it because they saw how much uh, experience that we were making from these. Uh, another is this one. You can wait lifts now, and you earn 1 experience every half a second, which is not that great, but it's good for new players if you want to get quick experience. A quick way to get earn experience. For new players, basically, it's it's very it's pretty good if you don't want to do any killing. Now the next uh, change is that you can um, pick up weapons off the floor, and it doesn't make you hostile at all. So you can't be hostile until you enter the restricted areas, or if um, you take it out, basically. You, oh, you can also get hostile if you pick up a keycard, so if you pick up a keycard, you are automatically hostile. So be careful when equipping those. Next up, uh, back with the XP again, you also got new basketballs that you can pick up uh, in the outside area. Near the, let's say the basketball court. So picking them up, uh, it will give you a basketball. You can also use um, uh, the inspect to inspect them to get like a cool little animation which I like a lot. You can also run with them, it actually plays a little uh, uh, bouncing animation which is pretty neat. But the most important thing that you can actually earn XP by doing possible hoops. I think they nerfed uh, that you will no longer be able to earn XP if you just do this. Opening on. I don't think you can earn XP if you just do it like this. On oh, mind you can. So you earn 10 XP by just doing that. You used to earn 25 XP uh, if you score uh, scores of the basketball, but they nerfed it again because we were taking advantage of the XP uh, system. But there is another way you can earn XP as well. You can do weights, which is 1 XP per half a second, treadmills, which is 2 half a second, and then basketball hoops, which is 10, hoops, uh, 10 scores. Her, uh... But anyway, on to the next change. Okay, so the next change is related to vehicles. So if you go to any vehicle um, spawner, like for example, if you go to the police uh, spawner here, you select uh, here, it will actually show you all the different vehicles that you can spawn in the game. Though you can't spawn vehicles, police vehicles, outside of the prison. But you can spawn these vehicles, the ambulance, the express, uh, the SUV, the pickup truck, the sedan and the tricks. You can spawn those uh, freely from other spawn pads. But if we go to the outside area, which I'll show in a second. Oh wait, I'm wrong. Okay, so if you're not a police officer like I am, or a guard, 
you won't get the bear claw or the interceptor. You won't get those options, I'm pretty sure. If you're a criminal or a prisoner, you will get these vehicles, which is the ambulance, express, etc. The police vehicles will not be available. So if you want to get off your fast, you can pick up the sedan, which I'm pretty sure has the fastest speed in the game, I think. Yeah, the sedan has the fastest speed in the game, if you want to get off here immediately. If you want uh, the best durability vehicle, then you would select the Express. Actually, the Express seems to be like the strongest vehicle for criminals. So if you want the most armor, durability, then select the Express. If you want the most accelerated, I think the ATV, which is the Trix, has the most acceleration as you can uh, see. So if you want the best vehicles, the uh, Bear Claw, which is the most armor if you're a police officer. Express if you want the most armor for the for the criminals. Sedan if you want the most speed and the ATV, which is the Trix for the most acceleration. So that is the vehicles but parts so next on to the next thing so the next one is actually pretty simple if you want performance if you're experiencing any lag issues you can enable performance mode which should help uh, with your performance needs the next one is to disable um, right now this is disabled if you want a uh, lockdown alarms to be disabled if you don't like the alarms or such just disable it you, you won't have problems with that anymore and if you want debug disabled like for example painting or I think this yeah here we go so the so the debug used to be on so now it can be disabled if you want the debug to be disabled if, if you want to anyway it tells you the activity it takes it tells you the next pay it tells you your time it tells you the thing it tells you basically everything it used to be on, but on default, it is now off. So if you want it back on, you can turn it back on. So next, so the next option also is Emote Smith. I don't know how to say it properly, but it means that if you go up to players who are emoting, you can actually emote at the same time. So if you want to emote at the same time, just enable that setting, go up to a player, and you'll be able to do emote at the same time, which is excellent. And while you're at it, you can actually see the two new emotes in the game, which is Billy G, which is here. It is basically um, Michael Jackson, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't know what it is. I think it's Michael Jackson. But that is one of the new emotes. And the one that I showed, which is Shuffle, which is the second new emote they can get. That is both of the emotes that you can get in the game. Now on to the next changes that we'll be able to do. So if you're a prisoner and you get shot, you may notice that they deal less damage. I will show that in the public service in a second. If you like um, hurt a innocent uh, they won't get damaged uh, as much as you would expect. For example, this man here by shooting it, they won't instantly die. So that is a uh change to avoid like like trolling um where's a where's it trolling uh guards basically you also can't uh taste them as well and such. Actually no 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 I meant if they're holding contraband so you can't check them anymore. And killing them with a the contraband even though they are not hostile yet Will not, uh, will give you a strike, don't give you a strike. That's a little, uh, thing to there. Well, I don't know where the girl is, but let's actually do the example. So if I put this man on top of here. Attention all units, yeah. we've got an officer in need of assistance. So if I put them in solitaire, which is a, for example, reasons. I'm not just putting them in solitaire for no reason, I'm just putting them in solitaire for no reason. And, oh my goodness, that guy. Okay, so now we are in solitaire. If the guy is still in here. So, if you notice, they're in solitaire. You can also see that the solitaire is new. If you kill them, you will now receive a strike. So, you cannot kill prisoners like that anymore uh, if they're in solitaire. So, you cannot kill people if they're in solitaire. So, be very careful and don't. Um, do that because that will be very bad. So that's being a little nerf. 
another nerf is that you can no longer what is it? You can no longer uh, put people in solitaire if they're hostile more than three times. So that's to avoid uh, what is it? People like uh, like the wardens take advantage of that. So be very so be more careful. As a warden, you're supposed to like put people in the solitaire if they're very bad. So this is a big nerf for warden players because now you won't be able to put people in solitaire if they're hostile if they're uh, just doing nothing you they must be hostile three times and you can't kill them or arrest them if they're in solitaire you have to be more reasonable when you're the warden now so be more reasonable and be careful on to the next change ah okay so the next change is how they work how the system work if you're out of the solitaire. If you exit the solitaire, you will be able to kill them. And by killing them, they will no longer be in solitaire. So that's another nerf for the warden. So if the colonel's free prisoners from the solitaire, they will no longer be solitaire. So that's a big nerf for the solitaire situation. Now for the weapon stats, this one I will test in a VIP server, so I'll go back to my VIP server. Alright, so there, so I have five dummies here to show a demonstration, but I think I need another one, but we'll see. So, we have four, well, five weapons that have been buffed and nerfed, so let's go with the nerf first. First off, the AKM holds a 60 ammo reserved. Instead of 90, which is not great, but it, it's a little nerf for the Game Pass weapons. However, the AK... Actually, hang on, I think I got the wrong one. Give me a second. Actually, it might be a little nerf issue when I spawn this weapon, but anyway. But both these weapons have less ammo, the AKM and the AK-74. No damage has changed whatsoever. They're, they're the same stats as usual, so I won't use them. Now, the Fin-17, this weapon, uh, let me just check the change, it deals, it, it reduces armor reduction, uh, it looks like according to, penetration, penetration, so if the user, if a person has armor, this deals less damage to armor now, which is unfortunate, but it still penetrates armor a bit, so that's a little note there. Now, the MP5, this has a damage buff. This has increased the damage from, let me see here. Ah, wait, I see. Okay, back to the AKM. Sorry, sorry. Um, back to the AKM. It has reduced the armor penetration and it reduced fire rate. Reduced fire rates. So I think it shoots. I don't know if it shoots faster or slower, but it says in terms of the change log. Reduce fire fire rate slightly and it reduces armor penetration. So that's the note. It's still very powerful though. Take note of that. Now the MP5, back to the MP5. So it has increased the damage from 18 to 21. So if I shoot them, you will notice that they do more damage basically to um an MP to a uh, like a player or NPC. So that's pretty cool. Now, for the MP5 and the MP, uh, and the carbine version of these guns, this one and this one, they, according to the change log, they increase damage from 19 to 22. So that's nice. They do more, more damage, which is very nice. So you'll be able to get kills much quicker now, which is nice. This is a very good buff for new players. For observable, a decent weapon to use in the game. So I like that change. And that's basically it. That's all the changes to the game. There's other minor changes such as they fix sliding under the cafe glass, which you can only do, and you can see that the glass color has changed. They fix the ammo glitches. They fixed a bug where you could get guard tools after being fired. Fix be able to interact with objects behind the walls. Actually, I don't think that's true because if I go over here, actually, I see what they mean. They fix be able to um, interact behind the walls here, but if you put your camera behind the glass, you can toggle it. You can also grab items uh, behind 
uh, the glass and the walls as well, so they need to fix that, but they fixed a minor issue to it. They didn't fix the main issue, but I don't know what they mean by that issue, but hopefully they get to that issue whenever it's, when they get into it. Now, they fixed um, issues with the label not displaying people sometimes, so I don't know what they mean by that, because the label works for me. But well, that is basically it. We covered all the issues uh, for the game. Oh, and the changes as well. So that is it. That's all you need to know about the update. Wow, it's currently um 7.49 p.m. And they just released an update according to my uh, time right now. They actually released an update. Just a minute ago, so I'm just gonna tell you the update log for that as well. So in the update, so I'm gonna tell show you the 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 thing real quick. Uh, let me bring up uh, the Discord server. Okay, so this is their Discord server. According to Boss and CEO, uh, they added they just added codes. You can now redeem codes posted by them or another developer in game. Redeem them in the store tab. Then they added a currently then they added a current activity notice at the top of the screen. They added databases will automatically save every few minutes to ensure data loss is less frequent. Which is an issue that act that that we encountered, me and my sister just encountered like a few weeks ago or a month where the server crashed and we completely lost our data, so that's nice. They also changed that if a guard is within 10 stores of an inmate who picks up a contraband. They'll be more hostile. Keycard will always make you hostile no matter what. They also fixed that basketball will not be able to be thrown on mobile if you have that on uh, if you have that issue on mobile. Then they fix many bugs that were occurring behind the scenes. So this is a important change because when you're a prisoner, you can just pick up contraband right in front of the guards. So this is more realistic now. If you're not blind, you can actually catch. Prisoners who pick up the uh, contraband right in front of you, so that's a nice change. Now, another nice change is the codes, which I'm about to show you right now. Codes! You can find the codes anywhere. You you can find it on the menu right now if you join the game. But, as you can see in the store, in the store tab, you can find a new codes area. So, to do this, you can enter a code that you can find on their Twitter account, or According to the content career program, you can actually give codes to people as well. So maybe once I join uh, the content uh, program for in-game, when, whenever I receive it, I don't know if I will receive it. It doesn't look like the devs gave me the content career yet. But the first code that you can get today is called, let me check real quick. It's called codes are here with uh, an exclamation mark or exclamation mark, I don't know how to say it. So you type up this code, I'll, I'll leave the code in the description or the comments if you want to redeem it, but you can type this up and then you just click redeem and oh, or maybe I need to not put an exclamation mark. Uh, let me try again. There we go. So once you get it, you'll receive double XP, I think. If, if I'm correct, yeah, double XP, you receive double XP, and you receive 10,000 cash, if I if I saw that correctly, uh, um, if I read that correctly, I don't know. But, that is it? Anyway, um, that is the editor's note, uh, I think, anyway, because uh, this just, this just update just came out, so I want to add that to the current video. So that is it, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe, and... See you guys next time. Hopefully this video was alright. And apologize if I was sick or such. If you if you heard my voice was quiet and such. Thank you and have a good day or night. See ya. They literally added another card. The moment I was about to export the video. But anyway, here's another card for you lucky people. Uh, the card is Sorry for Reboot. You just enter it, and it should uh, redeem. Hello, redeem, redeem. Hello, why is the game not redeeming?
Okay, there we go. It, it was just a delay. It was just a delay because everyone's all of a sudden um, using the code. So that is sorry for reboot. You get 5,000 cash, which is nice. So if you want to get that, um, go for it. Now, off to export that video. Have a good day, everyone.